back to my channel. So today's video is a makeup tutorial inspired by the whole Instagram baddie look. I've been really intrigued and fascinated by Instagram makeup and I've never really like tried any of the cut crease and the baking and everything like that. So I really wanted to like do a tutorial inspired by Instagram makeup and I wanted to pull out all the stops. I wanted to do a cut crease, cream contour and highlight. I wanted to bake my face do the brows, like I just wanted to do everything and like try it and this skin looks photoshopped. It is incredible, like I looked in the mirror and I was like, whoa, it's just, it's crazy. It looks so different. So if you guys are interested in seeing exactly how I got this Instagram inspired makeup look, then please keep watching. I'm gonna start off by priming my eyes first and I'm gonna use this one, it's by Bare Minerals. It's their Well Rested CC Eye Primer. This is Naked by Urban Decay, and I'm gonna use this as my transition shade, so just putting this all throughout the crease. I'm gonna tape my eyes like that. I'm using this shade right here from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, and I'm just gonna put this all in the outer corner of my eye. Now I'm taking this shade, and I'm gonna Get that on like a little pencil brush and I'm gonna put this all over the rest of the eyelid so now I'm gonna go back in with that dark brown shadow and I'm going to kind of like intensify that line right there this shadow on a fluffy brush to blend out the harsh line in the crease I'm taking Talk Dirty, this is by ColourPop, and I'm just going to place this right here, like where the dark color and the light color meet. Pull it towards the middle of the lid slowly, but you're not going to bring it on the inner corner. So on this pencil brush, I have Champagne Pop by Becca. Mine is broken, so I can't show it to you guys. I'm placing this right on the inner corner of the eye. For a brow bone highlight, we'll do the matte shade right there. I'm using two primers. I'm gonna use all over the face is gonna be Too Faced Primed and Poreless. Towards the center of my face and where my pores are a little bit larger, I'm gonna layer on top the Poreflexional from Benefit. Then for foundation, I'm gonna use Clinique Even Better. I'm gonna do two generous squirts of this and um, it sets to a matte finish on my skin, so that's kind of the look that I'm going for, so I'm gonna use this one, and I'm in the shade Honey. For this look, I am going to do some cream contouring, so I'm gonna be using the NYX Cream Contour and Highlight Palette. This does not look dark enough. This is not dark enough for my face, but I'm gonna use it on my nose just because I don't want my nose to turn out scary. I got my Anastasia Cream Contour Kit in medium, and I'm gonna use this really dark one to do the cream contour. I'm gonna use a yellow concealer. This one's by NYX. It's the NYX HD Photogenic Concealer. I'm gonna do a really thin stripe down my nose like that. I'm also putting the yellow like under the contour and on top of it so that we look extra chiseled and cheekbony. Start off by blending out the contour. Now with my damp beauty blender, I'm going to just blend out this yellow shade, adding it in. Now I'm taking Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the shade Light, and this is going to be like a concealer highlighter because the NYX concealer still looks super yellow on the skin. So basically wherever I have that yellow concealer, I'm just going to put this there. And we're gonna bake this concealer. And now I'm going to bake all of this concealer. I'm gonna use the Kajendo Loose Powder. This is gonna be messy, it's gonna fall everywhere. A more flat line under my contour. There we go. Messy procedure. It flew everywhere. So while I'm waiting for my face to bake, I'm gonna do my brows. I'm gonna use Dip Brow from Anastasia and I'm gonna 
do my best attempt at the Instagram brow. Then we are going to slice these brows with some concealer just to like really make your eyebrow pop. And now I'm just gonna knock off all of the baking powder with a fan brush. For blush, I'm gonna use Love Thing from MAC. Just gonna pop that onto the apples of my cheeks. I'm gonna use this shadow on the lower lash line. Okay, so for bronzer, I'm gonna use this one by Vincent Longo. It's the sun-drenched bronzer. And I'm just gonna pop that all over my face, wherever I would typically put bronzer. And then in my tight line and water line, I'm gonna put some black eyeliner. And then I'm gonna do winged liner. I'm using this liquid liner by Jouer. It's the kitten liner. And I'm just gonna do a pretty dramatic wing. And then I'm gonna highlight my face with Champagne Pop by Becca. Like I said, mine's broken, so I can't really show it to you guys. But um, this is just gonna give you like a really intense, uber shiny highlight. Then you have to do that nose highlight that they do when you like highlight the tip of your nose. Cupid's bow, chin. I'm gonna do some really big false lashes, so I'm gonna be using these ones by Eskido. They are in Big City Nights. First, I'm going to uh, curl my lashes though and put on a coat of mascara just so that they blend together a little bit more easily. Now I'm going to line my lips. This is the Kaplan MD Lip Liner in the shade Nude. And then for lip color, I'm gonna use this one by Jouer. It's in the shade Noisette. It's just a nudie brown shade. Braid my hair really quick. I feel like I need to go take some Instagram pictures now, but like seriously, every time I look at myself in the viewfinder, I like can't believe that my skin looks like this. It just looks so photoshopped. I can't believe it, it's crazy. It's Phenomenal, and then I actually went and looked in the mirror, and I was like, oh, that is nice, that is interesting, I really like it. Okay, now I have all that stuff off. Um, if you guys have any questions about anything regarding this tutorial, feel free to leave them down below and get back to me. Oh, I'll get back to you is what I meant to say. I will get back to you if you leave me comments down below, and let me know, have you guys tried any of like the Instagram makeup trends? What did you think about them? I'm really curious because I surprisingly love this face. Yeah, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And don't forget to come follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. I will have all three down below for you guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys. Dude, like, I'm intimidated by this contour. But just know that when I take intro and outro shots, I can't take myself seriously. And I have to have music playing, so I, like, don't fixate on the fact that I'm, like... I'm also putting a little, a little bit. I can't fathom, oh my god, it looks like I'm wearing like those, those thingies. Can't, I just, the skin, oh. Oh, my earring fell out, oh. I can't be a baddie without hoops. Lucy. Oh, he's so pretty. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lucy.